Kenny Briones is here uh, to talk about his experience with uh, with his son in Panama. Thanks, Kenny. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Speaking of college football, just to let you know, the Longhorns were up 24 to 10. Uh, is it over? It's final. Final? Okay. So any OU fans out there, take that. All right. Today's our day. So, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, just curious, how many of you out there um, know somebody that's been impacted by autism, whether it's a friend or family? Or, okay, thanks for that. Uh, you know, I didn't know much about stem cells. Uh, probably the, my, the extent of my knowledge was a high school textbook. Uh, I just kind of mentioned them, and I got to tell you, they are they're just a, they are a miracle indeed. So. Um, Today's a good day. You know, you guys are all here because you have, you have questions, you're looking for answers. Uh, you're just looking to better yourself or someone you know. And Aiden, uh, our son, was diagnosed at the age of three. And, you know, it was, it was a shock. So what do you do, you know? Uh, you can look for answers. So we dove into the books and uh, we got into Biomed. Biomed is great. It's a, it's a number of things. It's diet. Uh, there's... Uh, the gluten-free diet, that was, that was really rough. Uh, there's also hyperbarics. Hyperbarics was huge for us, and that was, we saw some great results. Uh, the B12 shots, uh, we did some B12 shots for a long time with him, and that helped him with his speech tremendously. It got him a little hyper, but that was a big pop for us, but it just wasn't quite enough. You know, we were just looking for something else. And so then, you know, we, um, I, I Googled what I should have done from the beginning is autism treatment. Uh, on the internet, and boom, I got YouTube videos and forums and Facebook pages, and um, I actually spoke, spoke to somebody named Daniel, gosh, I forget, Farnham or Farnham, do you remember him? He was, you know, in the autism uh, society world, one of the pioneers that kind of brought visibility to treating his child uh, with stem cells, and he kind of disappeared just because I believe he was just honestly attacked, and I, I feel for him, but he's gone. But I actually spoke to him and, and, and I exchanged some emails with him and he said, take your kid to Panama. That's where you need to take him. So, you know, my wife was kind of skeptical and I got, you look at these videos, he started talking to people and getting these testimonials and so, you know, she bought in and, um, you know, off we were and, you know, kind of before we actually stepped in there, we kind of wanted to manage our expectations. So. In, in stepping in, we wanted to say, okay, we've spoken to these people and they've had these results we are up here. I'm just gonna put my papers there. And Aiden's down here. What if we can get somewhere in the middle or maybe even just 30, 40% improvement? Is it worth it? And to us, it, it wasn't even a question, it was yes. So, you know, we were off on a plane to, to Panama. And, um, you know, some of these, and these are just my notes for some of the uh, results. So. In school, and we've been twice, and we plan on going back a third year. We'll, be, we'll see you in spring. So, um, in school, they give he's in third, second grade, third grade now. We held him back a year. Uh, they would give stickers, uh, 20, a scale of 20, three or four or five stickers a day, that tell us each day how he would behave. And before treatment, he was averaging about three stickers a day. Within four or five months, four months, he was up to 17 stickers a day. And that's just behavioral feedback for us. Uh, speed of learning increased, like, big time. Uh, at age four or five, he could barely read. We took him at age seven, uh, and that, if you can't read or write, that's, you're classified as dumb. And within probably five or six months, he was reading full sentences, paragraphs, He's actually, I would say, close to par for his grade level, maybe just six months behind. Mathematically, he's maybe a year behind. And you know what, we'll take it. Because where he was when he was four years old, was just, it, was, it was just crushing. Um, engagement, you know, we, we couldn't keep him to hold his attention. He couldn't fill a bag with anything or keep eye contact. And that totally changed. And the teachers even asked us and said to us, you know, we don't know what you've done to Aiden, but he's, a different person, and we just kind of smiled and just didn't say anything. Right? <laughs> so um, that that was that was huge for us. Potty training, you know, we were having problems with accidents up until age seven. 
within the first, again, few months, gone. Just gone, and we got drunk, and we had parties. So. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Um, the second treatment, even more engagement, conversation. Uh, he has started asking meaningful questions, like, Molly, why are you going to work? I'm like, what? You know, well, we're going to work to make money. Well, what's money for? Why do we need money? Just, you know, we were really blown away. He started telling knock-knock jokes. He understood humor, and that was great. He's huge in Star Wars right now. I think when that new one comes out, he's going to just explode. I mean, he's all about Star Wars. Um, you know, he helps with his chores. He can tell us how his day went. You know, we ask him, how was your day? What happened? He, you know, and you know, these are all tangible. The re I mean, these are results on paper for us. What's important is, you know, the tangible results, the results we can touch and hug and talk to. Uh, it's just been, you know, just again, mind blowing. Um, you know, one of the uh, charts he had out there was for uh, something called the ATEC, which is autism treatment evaluation checklist, is that right? Yeah. And it just kind of gauges the before and after of any intervention. So after the first treatment, his points dropped 20 points. And then the next year we took him back and they dropped another 23. Uh, again, I just, I don't know what to say. You know, right now, um, we just can't thank every, we can't put into words uh, our gratitude to ICM, what they've done. You know, they brought him closer to us, him closer to us. He's just a totally different kid. He plays sports, he plays baseball, he can ride a bike, he swims. He's getting invited to parties. You know, people want to interact with him and he's, uh, he has friends. Um, it's just been amazing. So if you know somebody on the spectrum, definitely spread the word. You know, for us, it wasn't a choice. We just had to do it for him. It, 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 it's a life changing experience. It, it, it really does change lives. Uh, it's. You know, you, you know, keep in mind that you may have kids on the same level in the spectrum and you t both take them to Panama and it may help one with speech and another with gut issues and another one with potty training and the other kid maybe he has increased learning or maybe it changes, you know, the other kid's behavior. Uh, it helps with his behavior. So it's going to change. You're not going to get guaranteed results. It's going to be mix and match. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's about, you know, looking yourself in the mirror looking at your kid when he's older and telling yourself for him that you did everything in your powers to kind of change them and help them. Uh, that's what it was for us. So we didn't want to have any regrets at all. Um, you know, we met uh, great families there. Uh, one of them was a family from, I don't know if, I don't remember their name, my wife does, but they were from London and their kid was on the spectrum in a wheelchair and he could, he could really not really support his neck or head up and when we left and saw him on the way, on the plane on the way back, he, he was able to lift his head up. And that was just within a few days. And uh, you'll hear stories from the cab drivers of, of children on the spectrum that were able to say their first words within a few days. Um, I mean, this is, it's really, really amazing. Uh, when I was asked to come up here and speak, it wasn't a question, I just, it was an automatic yes. And maybe one day you guys uh, may be up here speaking uh, because of your experience. Uh, but uh, thank you so much. And we're going to see you in March, and we'd like to buy you a steak dinner. <laughs> okay?